Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing Cozy. This is a free pixelated point-and-click indie horror game. That's a mouthful. Available on Itch.io. There's a download link in the description. Let's click to begin. I'm here. Time to look for my uncle. We're where exactly? This hardly feels necessary in a forest. That's an air freshener with the tree. So I guess we're in a forest. Cool. Is this snow? I just need to make sure my uncle's okay. Then I can leave. All right. What am I, uh, what am I clicking? Okay, well. Oh, we can leave the car. Oh. I see. How is there already so much snow on our car? That's a little odd, don't you think? Well, I don't, don't want to go back in the car. That's fine. All right. Well, um, let's go ahead and walk into the forest. The wind is bitter and cold. Much too thick to walk through. What, the trees? My uncle's cottage. The lights are out. It's locked from the inside. A fake rock. There's something underneath it. Aha! Looks like I found my uncle's spare key. That's the most obvious hiding place ever for a, a spare key. That's the only thing on the porch. At least put it underneath the, you know, the, the deck or something, right? Um, okay, here's the, gotcha. Gotcha. The key fits. I'm inside, now to find my uncle. So wait, why are we checking on our uncle? What indication do we have that he's not okay? Not my kind of art. Alright, you snob. Well, it's your, it's your uncle's place, it's not yours. So what do you care about the art, huh? What is going on? A radical, yet classical, approach to the rectangle. I guess that's art or something. An old moldy pillow, nothing else. The sheets are damp, I'd rather not know with what. Okay, well we went there. Oh god, is that... Whoa! He... He's dead. He's... I should get help. I can't reach it. The boards are blocking the way. The way in. Oh. Uh, okay. Well... He's dead? What? Swedish side table. Only $9.99 USD. <laughs> That's kind of weird. <laughs> Kind of a weird thing to say. Um, okay, so we need to get in there, right? Not really hungry right now. Well, I wasn't saying you should make a sandwich, like look in the fridge for a puzzle item. I don't know. A kettle. Good for boiling water. That is traditionally what kettles are good for. Yeah. An empty glass, too bad there isn't anything to drink. Well, we're gonna make something to drink. Pipes are frozen, I can't fill the glass. No water will come out, the pipes must be frozen. Okay. Toaster's plugged in. Full of electricity. Yes, it is. Outlets are full of electricity. You're full of insight. The window's frosted over, I can barely see outside. Hmm. Not really sure what to do in here yet. Too dark to see anything. Okay, so I'm guessing maybe we do something with the fire? An unsupervised fire is dangerous. Well, it's in a fireplace. That's kind of the purpose of the fireplace, is so you can have an unsupervised fire in your home. But you're right, we, we should be more vigilant about fires. Go around back. A pile of loose snow. Interred within are the remains of a snowman. Interred, I like that. That's nice. Okay, so somebody built a snowman. The door is frozen shut. All I've got right now is a glass. Seems like I need to find some hot water. Oh, I know what we do. We scoop up the snow with the glass. Pack some snow into the glass. Okay, so I've got, I've got snow. The pipes are frozen. I was trying to figure out how to unfreeze the pipes. We don't need to. We don't need to. We can just we can just melt the snow. 
Snow has melted into a nice warm water. Okay, so we got nice warm water. Now I'm thinking we can put on that frozen handle. Oh shit, melted the ice off, the door should open now. Looks as though no one has been in here in years. Lighter fluid, guaranteed to ignite almost anything. Well, let's take that. Maybe not. Blue plastic shovel, looks cheap. Trusty old hammer, good for hammering or removing nails. Got it, for the board. So why, why haven't we taken the lighter fluid? What happened to our glass? <laughs> Fine then. It's getting darker, I should leave. What? What happened to the carrot? What happened to the snowman pieces? I should leave, huh? What had this happen? Okay, no, I, never fear, I got a shovel. Shovel broke, at least the snow is gone. Just a run of the mill stick. Okay, so we picked up a stick. It looks like our car was attacked. Something or someone attacked my car. The door's been bashed in, I'll need to pry it open. Uh, I'm not saying you should dent your car with a hammer. God, okay. Okay, so I need to find like a... I need to find like a... Uh, crowbar. Hang on. Stick won't stay lit. Huh. Oh, oh, I got it, I got it, lighter fluid. We douse the stick in lighter fluid, we make a torch. It's all coming together. It'll just pour off something needs to absorb it. So I need to have some sort of absorbent material. Wow, it's dark. I mean, do I use the moldy pillow? I pried the boards off the wall. Extra absorbent would make a good wrapping. Okay, okay. Wrap some bandages on the stick. Uh, snip, snip, there goes your fingertip. That's a weird thing to say. That's a weird thing to say about some scissors. Antipsychotics, I didn't know my uncle was taking medication. <gasps> that was goofy, but... That was goofy. I'm so- I... I don't know what to say, I apologize. Alright, let's uh, let's go ahead and light this. Nope. I gotta get lighter fluid on it first, sorry. This is like a four-step process to make a torch. Okay, I doused the stick in lighter fluid, now we just, we just set it on fire. We set the stick on fire. Made a torch, looks like it's alright to play with fire. Sure. <laughs> Boom! I can finally see, okay? Some old wires. The label reads, Christmas decorations. Okay, what's this? Plastic broomstick, it's been broken in half. Aha! An iron pry bar should be useful. What the hell is that sound? Not a big fan of what's happening here. Finally, I can get into my car now. What's going on? My keys are missing. My keys, I have to find my keys. Okay. Are they in the hideaway rock? I mean, where could they be? What do we even have? We don't have anything. He's gone. He's gone. He 
He's gone. Shit. What to do? Oh! My car keys, how'd they get there? Is he coming after us? I should probably GTFO, right? I can't stop shaking. Yeah, dude. Um, yeah, let's uh, GTFO. Hey, that was a, that was a fun little free game. Yeah, that was neat. That was neat. Wouldn't say it was like, you know, revolutionary or anything, but then, then again, that's not really what's supposed to be. It's, uh, you know, it's a 15 minute game. All right, guys, let me know what you thought about this game, Cozy. Uh, there's not a lot to it, you know, it's, um, it's a point and click game. I think that, uh, some of Scriptwelder's games are a little bit more engaging and have a little bit more of a puzzle element to them, but this was fun. Uh, I like playing pixelated games. I feel like it gives it a certain style and a certain charm that you just can't get with uh, traditional three-dimensional graphics. I, I enjoyed it. It's good for what it is. It's a free, you know, experimental short horror game. And I think that uh, some of the writing could have been better, but you know, minor, minor complaints aside, I did really enjoy it. Now, I know a lot of you guys watching this are like, well, that's great and all, but where's the next welcome to the game video? I'm sorry, I, I literally have been playing that all day, today and all night, last night. Uh, it's hard, it's really hard, so the video's not ready yet. I don't want to post another video until I can actually get one of the endings, so... Um, in the meantime, I've been playing just some experimental stuff, and this one was pretty cool, so I think I'll upload it. I'll see you guys later. Think critically.